Hey guys, it's Melon and Monroe here. So today I'm just gonna take you guys with me to the nail salon. It's been a while since I've got my nails done, so I've decided since I'm gonna go get them done today, I'll record it for you guys, just so you can see, you know, where I go, the guy who does them, and you know, just like what I like when I go get my nails done. So if you wanna join me on my journey, stay tuned. So I'm just going to start off by letting him file away the previous polish that I've had. Um, he always does this before he either puts a new layer of acrylic on or before he takes the old nail off. Today I'm going to be taking the nail off being that as you're going to see I only have about two nails left. All of them did break because um, as I said it has been a while since I got my nails done. So yes, he's just gonna file off the previous polish in the previous design. I had like a confetti enclosure inside of the acrylic. So um, yeah, he's gonna go ahead and proceed to cut the nails down so he could go ahead and remove them. And that's just what you see him doing here. He's just using one of the fake nails to slip underneath the nail just so that way there's not a lot of tension and he doesn't hurt me too much. See, it just came off that easy. So yeah, he's just gonna go around the hand, take off all the nails, and then we're gonna move on to applying some new nails. Oh yes, he's also gonna file um, using the hand foul and the drill bit, he's gonna foul down each of my natural nails just so he could create a smooth base to add the artificial nail on top of. Here, you're gonna see him adding on the artificial nails. What he does is he'll add a small dollop of glue, then he'll pinch the nail onto the end of my natural nail He'll pinch it down really tight just so he can make sure it doesn't come up. And then sometimes he'll put another little dollop of glue on top, only if he needs to. So here he's just going to go ahead and cut the nails into the shape that I like them. I wear my nails in a coffin style shape. Um, I used to wear square but now I wear coffin. I tried the pointy stiletto no, excuse me, <laughs> I tried the pointy stiletto nails maybe once or twice but this is really my thing. This is what fits for me. Once he gets the desired shape, he's just gonna go ahead and use the hand file to go ahead and file everything into place, make all of the sides smooth, no jagged edges. Here he's just adding primer to the nails. He has to add primer before he can put any type of acrylic on top. So 
he's just going to start by making his brush wet, dipping it into the purple liquid, as you're going to see. And then he's going to dip that brush into the white powder. That's going to give him the bead that he needs. And then he's going to proceed to put it on the nail and form it around the artificial nail to make it thicker, harder. You know, for my ladies who go get their nails done, you know what they do. By the way, this part is my favorite part of getting my nails done. The acrylic process, the shaping process, and the filing process. It's really my favorite part about doing this whole thing. He's just gonna go ahead and use the hand file to further shape everything. Just get it where he needs it to be. Cause you know, the acrylic sort of puts the shape kind of out of whack, <laughs> if I may say. So he just goes back in and makes sure everything is where he needs it to be. Cause I like my coffin shape to be pretty thin, pretty skinny and he knows that.
now he's going to go in with the drill bit so he can clean up around my cuticle and just so he can take off all the excess acrylic that he doesn't need. He can make it more um, slim. I don't like my acrylic to be thick and he knows that also. So he's going to make it more thin and he's going to take off the excess around the sides and around my cuticle area. Give it a smooth, clean finish. I actually love the buffing portion of getting my nails done too. <laughs> Here is once I have added cuticle oil and washed um, my hands. He's just going to go in and apply the nail polish now. I'm using a gold sparkly nail polish I got from the nail salon. And then I'm also using my chunky sparkly nail polish I bring to the nail salon from h and I'm going to, on my left hand, I'm going to do the sparkly nail on my index finger. And on my right hand, I'm going to do the sparkly nail on my ring finger. The rest of the nails are going to be like a mauve, nude, pinkish sort of color. And there you have it. 